Hey guys, welcome to my home. Well, this is my garage in my home, specifically my basement garage. Um, and the reason why we're here is because I received this. Now, it doesn't look all that professional, but as you can see here, it says RWB Fragile. So, here's my RWB kit for my 997. And uh, it came, and I'm going to unbox it. We're going to see what's inside. This is... Um, whole process took from getting the kit um, all the way back to the beginning was about a year and a half. I think I ordered the kit early October 2022 and they say a three to four year wait. Um, and it was really hard to contact them, but I went through RWB uh, USA, which is uh, Mark over in California. And he was very helpful. So, uh, you know, going back and forth, all that stuff, what I wanted. Finally, uh, I think they didn't make the kit till this year. So, I'm pretty pumped. But it came today, and I had them deliver it to my house because I'm not at my shop. And uh, this is going to be my first look as well as yours. I'm pretty pumped. One thing I am uh, kind of worried about is that there is a language barrier. So, I think in the beginning, uh, there were choices of spoilers. And... Uh, I didn't really know what the two choice were it said ducktail and um, Carrera Lane. So I think I might have gotten the ducktail, even though I did say I wanted what I think was a Carrera Ring, which was on the Kai Sons 997. And I did um, try to clarify that multiple times. And, you know, shit happens. But I did speak with Mark because on the customs report it said ducktail. And uh, it did ducktail in here, you know, spent almost $30,000 on it fancy bolt-on kit, you want it to uh, be right. So he might have to send me another thing. We'll find that in a minute. And uh, you know, Mark is a very nice guy. Um, I didn't speak with Nakaisan directly, but he seems nice from the correspondence we saw he had and, and Mark. So everything is pleasant. And Mark was there 24 hours a day for me, uh, seven days a week. So now, so far, what I do see here, so I do got to take, uh, tear this down and uh, get this in my truck. And I'm going to have to send this out to paint. Um, the first impression is obviously everything's just kind of packed in there. Um, right away, I see that it looks like a nicer kit than like your regular door flash or something. But, you know, right away I do see, first kit I see is uh, duct tape. Now, this I didn't want specifically because I have a duct tail. It's, it's like identical to this. So, I have the duct tail already. And I said to him that I did not want it because if I wanted to do a duct tail, I could just put mine back on. And it looks very similar to the one I got. Uh, it's not really all that crazy. Um, so, let's place this to the side right here. So now, what else do we have here? All right, so these looks like some canards. I'm guessing the canards for the front. We'll place those off to the side. And what else do we have here? This is kind of cool. This is an insert for the front factory bumper. I didn't really know that it had this. I thought it just had some flat grills for the front from pictures that I saw. This is kind of cool. A um, little bonus I didn't know. Let's get that over here. What else do we have here? I'm probably not going to sort through all of this with you. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, but we do have one fender here. It's cool that we got the Rowell logo right here. This does look like some very quality stuff. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of fiberglass stuff in my day. Especially growing up in the 2000s when people were doing crazy body kits in their cars, you know, like side skirts. We used to call them ground effects back then. So now, what do we have here? These I'm unsure. I believe these are fender liners. That's nice. If that's what they are, uh, I'm unsure. So we're going to place those right here. Uh, we do have another set of those right there. these together. These I'm unsure of. Uh, all right.
already. Uh, some cardboard for packaging purposes. Uh, have another fender here. This looks like a rear fender. Rear driver's side. This looks nice again with the Rowell logo. I feel like they don't really have to put that in there as you can see it. But it's nice um, if you would like confirmation regarding your kit. So now we have side skirts. Get them quality. They look quality to me. But you know, you spend X amount of dollars. Better, that'd be nice. This looks like a, uh, a spender extension for the front bumper, uh, front driver's side. We have uh, another skirt. Front lip. That's kind of cool. Again, looks good, looks quality. No rubber or one that. I'm guessing that's only on the fender flares. Uh, next, we have the biggest piece here, which is the, the bumper, rear bumper. Now, this doesn't have, if you notice, some of them have, uh, this is nice, it has the bumperette delete, because I, I do have, a, I did delete my bumperettes on my car. Uh, some of them have scoops right here. Um, I spent a lot of money, and I'm not rich <laughs> on this. They wanted, he wanted an extra thousand bucks to cut scoops out of here, and they, well, uh, they look kind of cool. I just didn't, I can't justify a thousand dollars. I need every dollar I can get. I had a kid a few months ago, and uh, my wife would kill me if I was like, hey, guess what? I spent a thousand dollars on these fucking little scoops. Doesn't sound economical. This whole thing wasn't economical. I mean, uh, I'm just some schmuck. So, all right, so what else do we have here in the kit? Uh, I guess he sent him, he sent himself out with some pieces. Uh, I'm unsure what this piece is. I'm probably gonna have to get in contact with uh, Mark and see like what pieces to paint, uh, my color and whatnot. Looks like we got some, some super glue here. Uh, this looks like just some cabinet hinges. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. That's kind of weird. But these look like some hinges for a cabinet, some super glue. Um, this I'm unsure of. Uh, some kind of hockey puck type looking thing. Uh, I can't imagine what that could be. All right, uh, what else we got? More fenders. This looks like the passenger side front fender. It's got the cutout for the gas cap. And uh, another fender. Any other fanciness in here? Probably gonna start sorting this out slowly, bringing us to work with me. Uh, so this, he taped up some of uh, the rubber. I'm assuming he uses this rubber. I use the same rubber on my Pantera and stuff. But I think he uses that in the front of the car, around the bumper, maybe on the side skirts. I guess time will tell. Uh, okay. This safe. This looks like it got a little bit uh, bent in shipping already, but that's that stuff's easy to come back. Okay, so this fender, uh, fender one, fender two, driver side. Got the two right over there, and another front fender extension. Same one, but in front of the bubble wrap. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what comes in a box when you receive an RWB 997 kit. I don't know if it's any different for, you know, 993 or any other other kits, but that's what I got. Um, do got to contact Mark about that duck tail. Uh, that's kind of disheartening because they got to ship me another one. Uh, as far as shipping goes, this was really quick to get. When they said they were going to ship it, I got it in like a week. I think the hardest part was going back and forth with uh, customs. Signing paperwork, filling stuff out for my business and stuff. It was a lot of, uh, lot of stuff. But, uh, that's it. And I want to get that uh, correct spoiler. So I'm going to hit up Mark, see what he says. Slowly I'm going to get this stuff over to my paint guy. 
Catch you guys later. I'm gonna go turn this off because I'm an idiot and I don't have a proper mount.